Hello and welcome to the Plexus Elite training session related to interface overview. My name is Marina Trevisoli and I will guide you through this presentation. The agenda of our training refers to the understanding of steps to set up a 2D model using Plexus Elite. We'll then cover the steps as follows. Define the regions, apply material properties, specify search method geometry and slips, apply loadings and supports, and specify pore water pressures. The workspace of the software is the area which presents the drawing CAD window, as well as the buttons and menus allowing access to the primary functionalities of the software. It is through the interface that the user will primarily interact with the software. The menu bar of software has been designed to be in a logical order from upper left to lower right. For example, if the user starts a model and proceeds through the menu system from left, file, to right, solve, they will succeed in creating and solving a model. The toolbar lies right below the menu bar. It provides quick access to the frequently used as open, save and print functions. It also provides quick access to different time periods for transient analysis. The dimension selector controls the dimension in which the user views the model. The software module selector allows the user to select the current software module which they are entering model design information. Typically, these buttons represent the front-end, back-end software modules. Finally, the status bar consists of controlling the add in drawing and viewing objects in the workspace. These controls allow the user to access CAD drawing functionality, which can greatly simplify the input of model geometry. The initial settings is an important step to ensure the model settings are proper for the particular numerical model. In the case of a slope stability analysis, this is the place to establish the search and calculation method. If the analysis will be deterministic, probabilistic, or even adjusting the inclusion of sensitivity and spatial variability. Convergence and advanced modeling adjustments in terms of calculation are also available under these initial settings. Each of the actions on the initial settings will unlock additional tools in the software for further adjustments of required input. The initial settings can be assessed through model under toolbar by selecting the settings dialog. After adjusting the model settings, we can then proceed with creating the 2D representation of our model. Plexus LE uses a region-based geometry system. Regions can contain either a polygon or a circle, and material properties are applied to regions in these steps. These may be drawn or imported in a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. All tools related to geometry may be found in the geometry section under the module menu. The region hierarchy determines which regions material properties will prevail if region overlap. Region order is defined to correspond to the same order in which regions are created, as shown on the left-hand image. A higher order may always override the region with a lower order in case of overlapping. Material properties define how the solution is calculated through the interior of regions. Material properties must be specified under the Materials Manager menu item. They are first defined in the Materials Manage dialog at which point they are not assigned to any particular region. The user must use the region property dialog to assign materials to a particular region or right-click at Region Geometry, Apply Material. The Power Pressure tab allows the user to specify the method by which pour water pressures may be specified in the model at hand. The pour water pressure dialog may be found under pour water settings, menu option. There are different methods to specify the power order pressures in the model. 
These methods are to be considered global settings which apply to all or selected regions in the entire model. Additional functionalities are possible to combine global settings with the effect of B-bar or substitute the application of RU on individual material regions as well. Water surface and discrete points can be drawn or imported at the model using the coordinates X and Y. The Plexus LE slope stability software allows a variety of loading type boundary conditions to be applied to the model. A variety of different methods or loading options are provided as the use of line and distributed load as well as seismic. All these options are entered under the loading menu. The load dialog displays a list on the left side of defined loads in the model, split into line and distributed load options. Orientation, magnitude, and coordinates are also defined. User can include manually coordinates or select draw segments in the CAD window. If supports are required in the slope stability model, Plexus LE provides comprehensive support for a variety of support configurations under the support menu, as bolts, geotextiles, anchors, and piles. It should be noted that the support geometries are separate from the support properties. In other words, Plexus LE maintains a list of support properties independent of applied geometries, in a manner similar to the application of material properties to various regions in the software. This allows the user to create multiple anchors properties definition and mix and match the geometries to which they are applied. Support objects may be added by pressing the draw button or support geometry. The Slips dialog is used to edit the properties of the various searching methods available in 2D. The searching method which is available in the menu is controlled by the user settings for the searching method used under the model, Setting dialog. Under the same dialog, users can also set the slope limits and tension crack. If user selected grid and tangent under model settings, for example, then the place to adjust grid and tangent coordinates and extents will be available under the slips dialog. Here are some closing remarks. The workspace and commands developed to build a 2D model were made to be intuitive and easy to use by a dialog-oriented approach. The region geometry can be built or imported from different files. Especially, the DXF format must be checked before importing to the software to make sure it's being imported correctly. After creating the 2D model, the user must feel confidence that the model is realistic. We recommend that the user follows the step-by-step -step presented at this presentation to make sure that every component of the model was created effectively. The important and minimal requirement to build a model is defining the information at the initial settings, region, material properties, and slips dialog. Loading, water table, and supports are additional features and depend on each situation. Thank you for your attention.